It's one of the most classic cookies of all time, I would say. Thick, velvety frosting topped with a load of sprinkles. And while you still can grab a box from your store at your convenience, the legendary Loft House cookie is even better homemade. Self-proclaimed cookie monster Carly Bittner is joining me in the kitchen to share the recipe. Hey, cookie monster. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you again. You've been on kind of a wild journey to perfect this recipe. Right. Well, I... I kind of do what I do whenever I eat anything. I can never enjoy just a dessert anymore. <laughs> I have to eat it and think about it and try to figure out what is making things taste the way they are You're and real what texture. You're at a dessert bar, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm probably terrible, honestly. <laughs> but I grew up with these cookies like yes. everybody else. You right. know? And I've tried some of like the copycats out there. Uh -huh. They're just not right, or they weren't right. And yeah. so I was like dead set and determined I was gonna figure this out. To get it, to get it right. And I think I did. Some of the ingredients you're using today, I was looking over the recipe, mm -hmm. they're sort of uncommon. Yes, they are. So I, what I did is I went to the grocery store, bought some Loft House cookies and flipped it over and was just reading what ingredients are actually in there, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we've got all margarine, which I know everybody's just like, <gasps> what? I, I know. You're using margarine? Yes, it's just margarine. There's okay. no butter in this. Okay. Which. I know, and I've made them with butter. They're not as good. I'm Interesting. Not, it, it's because the ingredients are different, right? And yeah. so the water evaporates out of the cookie, so you're left with like little kind of crispy edges uh -huh. with the margarine. Okay. Um, but with butter, the water doesn't evaporate out, so it's kind of more velvety texture. Uh -huh. I don't know, the texture is just different. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, a little and then science. No granulated sugar, it's powdered sugar. Powdered sugar? Yes, and so like it's, and that's the texture, like the cakey kind of uh -huh. melt in your mouth stuff. The dense. So yeah, what we're going to do is just take our margarine, I almost mm -hmm. said butter because I always <laughs> use. Margarine. I always use butter, yeah. like literally always. And we're going to mix this together. Mm -hmm. And this always happens. A little Ex flower fly. Little, little explosion yeah. here. We're going to add in our egg. Okay, just one egg. One egg. Uh huh. Easy peasy. And then we're flavoring it with both vanilla and then this. This is the secret right here. What? It's butter extract. So we're not using butter, we're just we're using, using butter. butter extract. We're I, just getting the flavor. I had no idea butter extract existed. And, and it's good. Why else would I use butter extract? When else might I use butter extract? You know, I actually use it a lot into sugar cookies now because it just gives it that little extra, like well, yeah. over the edge, like the bakery flavor. So that's going in. I didn't even know that was a darn thing. Okay. It, it's a thing, it's a thing. Butter Kay. extract and vanilla. Vanilla, yep. This is all mixed together. This is seriously the easiest thing you will ever do. It feels doable so this far. This is cake flour. And, and you say it has to be cake flour. Cake flour. I mean, uh -huh. I've done it with all purpose, but it's again, not as fluffy. Not, not exactly yeah. like what you're wanting. Will it work? Yes. Will it be identical? No. We love a baker with an opinion. You know? You know? <laughs> so cake flour going in. I and really then, do though, because what you want is the surefire will work out. Gonna right. taste how it's supposed to taste kind of a cookie. It's true. Yeah. And. If you substitute, like it will work. It just won't be yeah. exactly, you know. All right, we mix that out. Mix Any that tips out. on the, oh, what's that? This is baking powder and salt. salt. Okay, Okay. mix that together. Mix Any it together. Any baking or shaping instructions before we get to frosting? So all it is is you just scoop it. Cookie scoop. Roll it. We know you smash love your cookie scoop. It. We do. Roll, roll, little roll, smash. Roll, little smash. Toss them here to bake. Okay, in the oven. Okay, in the oven. Now, the frosting, I would say, equally as important in terms of equally texture and taste. And again, margarine. Margarine! I know! It's so weird! Okay, all right. I know. Okay, so it's just margarine, heavy cream. We've got some uh, oh, powdered sugar. It. Feels good. It's like dense, kind of. Feels like it's supposed Feels to like feel. Feels like it's supposed to and feel. And you went patriotic for us today. Yes, That's so for fun. The fourth, of course. And kind of a thicker spread, right? Yep, like a, you want spread. it to sit a little taller on the cookie. Yep. It's funny how we all know the recipe, but very few of us make the recipe until now. Until now, now you can. And I always um, kind of clean off the edges mm -hmm. and go around and then flatten out the top a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then we top with the sprinkles. And do you wanna know my biggest trick for sprinkles? Yes, I do. I was just gonna ask, what is your biggest trick for sprinkles? Now that um, I'm sprinkling, I'll stop. What? We just go to your bakery oh. in your grocery store. I thought it was a technique and I no. was gonna back away. No. Okay. Bakery in the grocery store, like uh -huh. Bowman's or Harmon's, like any, go to the bakery and say, can I please buy some sprinkles in bulk? And they'll be like, sure, what colors would you like? And you're like, I would like red, white, and blue, please. And I got more of that and it was just like four bucks. 
So cheaper, cheaper and you can customize. You get time, customize the colors that you want. So Thank like you bakery. any holiday, yes, you go you go crazy with these. Yes, to make it. Just festive. Thank you, Bakery, and thank you, Carly. We love when of you're course. here. We love the cookie fun that you bring. So where can we get more recipes like this? You can get it all on my website, cookingwithcarly.com. All the socials, Cooking with Carly. It's K-A-R-L-I. Cooking with a C, Carly, Carly with, with a K. K. She's your friend in the kitchen. Make sure you give her a follow. Thank yes. you. Happy Fourth of welcome. July. Happy Fourth to you, too.